Hello YouTube. So about a couple days ago, probably about a week ago now, I was working on my truck camper and I noticed that my batteries weren't holding a charge very well. So when we got looking into it more, we found that my battery isolator uh, that isolates my truck batteries from my batteries on the inside here uh, wasn't giving or letting enough of a charge through just from the truck, which is what I thought would work originally. So I went online and bought a DC to DC charger at 40 amp energy. Um, I decided to investigate a little bit more into my battery. Uh, it's not holding a charge very long. I don't know if that's partially because they get cold, so I don't know if they can accept the charge very well. So that is why I went and picked up this battery hydrometer. I'm gonna give them a test. They are, they're brand new. I'm just skeptical of all that stuff. Um, but before we get into that, check out, I got a table. Just some finished plywood, right at the edges. So now it doesn't look so homeless in, on the inside, aside from the cushions. All right, let's get into it. Alrighty. Quick unboxing here. Ta da! And. Oh, made in China. Hopefully, I ain't got none of that COVID. Stickers. Sweet. Oh, there's a 60. I wish I'd done that. Cool. Alrighty. Oh, the stickers. Well, hopefully this does a better job than the battery isolator that I got in there. Although the one thing that does suck is those new ends that I just put on the cables that were running from the front of the truck. To the isolator those ends now nah, I now have to cut off because I thought ahead alrighty so now that I got it out of the box I'm just gonna take the table out take the floor out that I need to get to the battery isolator then I can pull all that stuff out get the charger installed and then we will go through the instructions and go through the setup So this is my battery isolator that I originally put in here that I thought would do a good enough job with just the alternator from the truck. Turns out I was wrong. So this would be the input from the truck. This would be the output that'll go to my batteries. This is also the this is also the ground from the truck. So I'll pull that back off a little bit extra. This is also the key power, which I was smart enough to run. Um, because for this you do need a key power. They say to go off the starter. But because I'm a redneck, I'm just gonna use the one that I used and hope for the best. Cool. That's good. Take off both of the power leads. Make sure not to touch them against anything because uh, they'd be live. So we'll just pretend to do something like that. And Okay, so what's in that? 
Here, I thought I'd be all fancy. Guess not. Oh, by the way, I don't have to cut the ends off. I knew that. Okay. So we'll put it in basically the same way that we had the battery isolator in. Um, truck coming in this way, battery's coming out that way. Hopefully it'll fit there. If not, I gotta move this on off just a little bit out of the way. This little yellow wire, one of the little yellow wires, this one that I took off the battery isolator was just grounding the isolator to the battery, just in case, because when we were trying to figure it out, trying to see what it actually did. And, um, okay, so fail. Take that off, move it up just a bit. I need to make one more cable. I'm gonna do a ground from this to that so that little yellow one won't work so I do need to make one more cable. Awesome. So before I actually got it screwed down onto the floor where I actually couldn't access it or even connect it to the other wires, I figured I'd just set up the actual charging system. So to go through the book, there's little toggle switches on the side here going one through five. You just flip them on and off to indicate what type of battery you're running and what type of charge you want. So for number five, I'd flip that for on because I have two lead acid batteries. Going down below the absorption charge, that would be what it would actually be charging at. So I'm gonna set mine to 14.4 because I'm running in a lot of cold weather. I don't need it to be at max charging, especially if the batteries are cold. And then to get the actual float charge, I'm going to set it just for 13.8, just so that I have most I can get on that. Alrighty, so got everything hooked up. Got the key power in here. Battery's going to the to the camper, and then the two batteries going in there. And I just got the truck turned on, and we now have power. Green light means to go. And look at that, bumping up on charge already. 17, 7, I was down at, at well, I'm at almost at 13 now. I was at 12.17 for the longest time. So that's a good sign. Thanks, your energy. Your stuff works. So now that I confirmed that that works, I can get her all screwed down into there. We'll just forget, we'll just pretend this is clean. Don't look at this. Shh. And then hopefully that I can get these up to a good charge and keep them going on a better charge than what was going before. Hopefully that'll help my battery problem. Um, probably gonna test them. If this doesn't work, I'm probably gonna test them anyways, just for peace of mind. Um, <clears throat> so there's that. And then, uh, yeah, I'll keep you guys updated on what's going on with more. Uh, be testing this thing out for sure this weekend. Um, this will be an actual test on actual battery chargers and uh, see how long I can actually keep the batteries going for especially with the solar power too um, with my two 100 watt panels on there with the energy rover uh, hopefully that'll keep me going this, for this weekend um, get to test a new table out for the bed uh, so yeah, I'll actually get to use this thing a little bit more than I've actually been able to uh, I've only really been able to use it mainly just um, I've been wanting to get more full time into this um but just with work and stuff and, and there's a couple little projects here and there that i gotta keep doing on this thing i haven't really had a chance to get full time into it so it'll be nice to spend another full weekend in it uh, with more of the stuff on it um i do gotta say though one big thanks to energy your phone holders are awesome the ends to the dc to dc charger held my phone very well 
So yeah, we'll see how that works.